Hi, I am Dr. Teeth and today I'll be helping you learn about obturators. What is an obturator? What are the types of obturator? Uses of obturator and a very important classification, the Armani classification. So before we dive into the video, do give this video a thumbs up and also give some positive comments in the comment section below because it really motivates me to create more content for you all. So without further ado, let's begin with today's topic. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Now starting with definition of an obturator. An obturator is a maxillofacial prosthesis used to close a congenital or acquired tissue opening, primarily of the hard palate and or contiguous alveolar soft tissue structure. So basically speaking, it is a prosthesis that will be closing any congenital or acquired defect in the mouth. Okay, sometimes the patient have carcinoma, tumor. When you remove that tumor, you know, entire maxilla, half of the maxilla could be removed. So what will happen? An opening will be created from the mouth to the upper structures. So such patients, how will they speak? How will they eat? And also, how will they look at their mouth, if at all, they try to because it looks very, you know, disturbing. You know, removing the entire section of your mouth, if at all, they try to look at it. You know, it's psychologically so disheartening. So, obturator is a solution to all this problem, right? Now, moving on to classification of obturator. Obturators can be classified by various means. According to the origin of discrepancy, it can be congenital or acquired. According to location of the defect, it can be buccal, alveolar, hard palate, soft palate, palatal lift, pharyngeal obturator. According to the type of obturator attachment to the basic maxillary prosthesis, it can be fixed, hinged, detachable, magnetically retained, implant retained. According to the physiologic movement of oral, nasal and pharyngeal tissues, it can be static or functional and depending on the material used, it can be metal, resin or silicon. So these are the various ways by which we classify obturator. Now, depending on the phase during which an obturator is given, it can be of three types. We have surgical obturator, interim obturator, definitive obturator. The name says it all. Surgical obturator is given immediately after the surgery. Okay. Or it can be given up to one week after the surgery depending on the type of tumor and also the services available. Right. The interim obturator is usually given three to four weeks after the surgery. And then we have the definitive obturator that is the final obturator. So there are a bit difference between these obturator. Like the surgical obturator. It does not have any teeth. It is just meant to retain the surgical pack. You know, after surgery, this plate will retain the surgical pack and it will help in the healing of tissue. It will not allow, you know, contamination of the surgical area. So such kind of obturators usually have retentive tags on the palatal surface so that they can, you know, so that they can retain the surgical pack. Surgical obturator is usually made up of clear acrylic. Coming to the interim obturator, they have teeth, so they will help the patient in mastication as well. It is usually made up of acrylic. And then coming to the definitive obturator, that is the final one, final prosthesis. And it also has teeth, obviously, and it is usually made up of metal, cast metal. Let's move on to the uses of obturator. We have already talked about it, right? It provides a stable matrix for surgical packing, as I told you in the surgical obturator. It reduces oral contamination, provides effective speech, permits deglutition, reduces psychological impact of the surgery, helps to close the defect for feeding purpose, helps to reshape and reconstruct the palatal contour and or soft palate. Armani classification of the type of defect. So this classification helps in the treatment planning. Like we can have an idea of the type of the defect it is and we can 
do the treatment planning of our prosthesis. So class 1 is midline resection as you can see here it is till the midline and one side is lost. Class 2 is unilateral resection only one side is lost and it is not till the midline. Class 3 is central resection so the central part of the palate is gone. Class 4 is bilateral antero posterior resection so as you can see it is crossing the midline so it is bilateral. It is both anterior and posterior so it is antero posterior right bilateral antero posterior. Then we have class 5th which is the posterior resection. Class 6th which is the anterior resection and some articles class 7 has also been given that is a defect which is small unilateral defect posterior to a standing abutment tooth. Abutment tooth is the supporting tooth okay. So this is a small unilateral posterior defect. So this was in brief about obturators. If you want me to cover an in-depth video on the diagnosis, treatment planning and the clinical steps that we do in the fabrication of an obturator, do let me know in the comment section below and I will be very glad to help you out with that. And yes, like zaroor kar dena. Bohat dil se video banati hoon. Achha nahi lagta hai jab koi like nahi karta hai. I get so sad. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.